Right, I'm limited on time, but I'm really bad about doing two things. One, I do want to record like what I'm eating and why. It's just part of it. I said I want to show what I'm doing. <coughs> Fuck. Tired. You know, I can track the progress, and then as this changes, it'll be pretty cool. But also, I don't know. I just want to go back to doing like a little food for thought, like five minutes in the morning, but I really, uh, this morning was like tough. It was tough to get up. But I can't go on a rant the day before about persistence and then not uh, fucking keep going, so. I don't know. Three hundred and thirty pounds of Costco hamburger meat. A little bit of mayo, keto buns, and American cheese. It's like a thousand calories. Don't need more than twenty four hundred a day. It's real uh, real fun. I'm feeling that uh, that drag of like once you get to like the three week point of like changing your habits, like there's always like this fucking slam into you that like tries to get you to just give up. I am feeling that today. I felt like my energy sucked, I felt like it's hard to explain. There's days where you feel like you got it and days where you don't. Today was one where I slammed the back workout, but I didn't feel like I had it as far as being like a person to person or a nice guy, so. Yeah. Oh, no. It's fun to track what I eat. Then I'll be able to see all that too. And I'll still do like the little lecture and stuff because I think that's important. So uh, I guess I'm gonna finish them hamburgers. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Coming to you live now with two whiteboards. Just kidding. This doesn't count. I got a real case of the don't want to do it today, but that's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you have to uh, test your might, I guess. It's a Mortal Kombat joke if you weren't picking up on that, which is totally fine. Oh my god. I've just had a day, you know? But I now have two whiteboards, so now I have my goals back up on the other whiteboard, which I'll start to go over, over every day. And I feel like I've, you know, I've made progress. You know, I'm staying consistent with all my goals. All of that's been really good. Now I'm tracking it again. Made a life plan yesterday. That was pretty big time. I've never done that before. It's kind of weird. Felt kind of good, but it's like when you can draw, I guess like live with intent. That's probably what I'm looking for. It's pretty worth it, but uh, oh man. I just, I don't know. Real low energy day. I don't know what the deal is, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, the thing that I thought of today that I wanted to talk about was compounding. This is a nice, this marker is way nicer than that other one. That marker I got over there sucks. It's a good one. Compounding interest. Why is this important? Why do I want to talk about this? The reason I thought of it was today. I woke up, and when I woke up at like 4.30, I just did not want to fucking, I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't. Some days I pop right up, pet the cat, I'm good to go. Today I was like, I don't want to move. Nope, not going to do it. Then I fought myself for five or ten minutes, and finally I just basically threw myself out of bed because that's what I had to do. Because I have a commitment to, one, recording myself and tracking my progress, two, recording myself so that I can help you, and three, it's just something I said I was going to do, like all of this, and I can't stop now. It's been, it's not quite three weeks of the videos, I think this is the 11th time I've done the videos, but it's three weeks of consistently tracking calories, waking up early, being persistent, 
and a lot of the other stuff that I've talked about. And the reason that I have like the 3,000 mile, you know, stare right now is I'm just analyzing it. And I'm appreciating it because I'm grateful that I've done it. But like once you hit three weeks, it's just now it's just work. It's not new and exciting anymore. It's not, oh, the big glamorous change, like the, the honeymoon phase of it's over. Now it's something I do every day with intent and with a purpose. And why do I do it? Because I, I don't know. There's like a Reddit post that I saw. Well, I do know. Excuse me. And it's because I remember this Reddit post I saw a long time ago and it really resonated with me when I saw it. It was like right when I decided to change my life and it was this guy, he like posts about being depressed, like not feeling like he can do anything, thinking he's worthless. Somebody replies and talks about no zero days, right? And there's tons of shit out there about being like 1% better every day and how important that is. And that's what kind of got me through today. Like, sometimes things aren't glamorous, but, I mean, it adds up over time. And that's the reason we set goals. Like, it isn't just to do it. We don't just do it. I'm just writing whatever I feel like today. Do it. For instant gratification. Gratification. My brain's not working super hot right now. We don't do it for instant gratification. We do it. Do it for longevity. Longevity. And to get better. And holy shit, on the days when you don't want to do it, that's when it really, really counts. Because I guarantee if I'd have said, nah, not today. And I laid down, I just told my progress, and I've talked about it before. I'd feel like shit tomorrow. Maybe I wouldn't get up and go to the gym at 4.30. Maybe I'd be like, nah, I'll go at 6. Then maybe I'd be later to work, and maybe I wouldn't try as hard at work. Maybe I'd... Maybe I wouldn't record more videos. Maybe I'd eat a pizza and be like, I don't need to track my calories today. And maybe the whole thing falls apart. And that's where discipline and everything else comes in. And that's kind of the whole, I'm just kind of going on a small rant today because sometimes you just gotta make it count and make it happen. It doesn't need to always be glamorous. And I wish I had something funny to say, but I don't. I really don't. Because sometimes you just have to get up and do it so that you can compound over time and you can keep getting better. Because even the days where you got the, all the good shit happens and it feels like you improve 10 or 15 or 20%, you can't chase that every day. It's fucking impossible. Somebody can say it's fucking impossible and that's fine, but you're a fucking idiot. In my opinion. I bet you could do it for like a week. You could chase that shit. But here's the cool part. If you can get a little bit better every day, then you have days where you take big leaps and then you come back to getting a little bit better every day. Like if you think about it, every time you take the leap, you have a big hump you get over or something and then you keep going at that rate. Eventually, you get to the point where your tolerance level is way higher and you're able to do a lot more and you're able to get a lot better in a shorter amount of time because you've gotten so efficient and so good at it. Like, I think that's what's key to this whole thing is becoming efficient with your time and becoming able to know that sometimes you got to fucking wait for it and you just got to keep doing what you're doing. You can't just stop because you're tired. You can't just stop because, oh, I don't know. You know, like, whatever bullshit that you're going to tell yourself because it's fucking nonsense. I'm not going to Andrew Tate you. I'm not Jordan Peterson. I'm not fucking... I don't have anything super inspirational to say. The reason I'm doing this is like I want to be relatable. Because I'm a 32 year old guy who lives in an apartment with his cat. But I do all of this shit because it's helped me over the last like five or six years when I've done it consistently. Maybe a little bit longer, what, like 2017? Eh, yeah, that's pretty close. Six, going on seven, like. 
if you just do it over time, like I've had my setbacks and I've fallen down and I've fallen hard. But that's the funny thing. Like if we saw the chart, like if we were looking at Tyler Bates on a fucking seven year chart, it would have been like, wow, this is like a stock that's worth like, actually, you know what? It just, we just hung the whiteboard. Like I have to do it, right? Like I was just writing what I felt like here anyway. Hold on. You're gonna have to get better erasers though. This one's gonna kind of junk. Hold on, I got one right behind us on the other whiteboard. So stay tuned. The whole whiteboard uh, for goals thing, low key, been pretty sick. All right, well, this eraser, I'm pissed. That's okay. We'll clean, I'll clean this later. All right. So this is me, let's say it's, <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's real funny. All right, let's try this one more time. So let's say that this is me, okay? Let's say that like this is time, the bottom axis is time and this is value. Real simple, time. value. We'll say the starting point was 2017, zero. Okay, and then to here, 2024. 20, it probably looks something like this. Ready? Probably looks something like this. Then we got, we'll just call it 2020 in here. Gets his degree, things are going really good. COVID happens. Burr, 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 burr. Can't do any of the stuff that he was doing. Burr, 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 burr. Picks it back up, moves to Florida, things are going good. Burr, 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 burr. Burr. Because I know I'm higher there than I definitely was right here. Because I'm doing a lot more things that make me uncomfortable. And I'm doing a lot more things that I wouldn't normally do. And I'm definitely, definitely further along in aspects of health, fitness, spirituality, as far as like meditation and stuff goes. Definitely read more books. So like, obviously 2020, 2021, like it's a bit of a crater too, but like at the same time, like I know that if I keep getting better over a long enough time period, this is probably, I could have definitely drawn a better graph. I'm going to keep improving and this is gonna go way higher. As long as we don't have a pandemic or some excuse for me to use every, every few years or so, I'm probably gonna be okay. So that being said, that's the whole point of the compounding interest and like the getting better. Like obviously if it was true compounding interest, it would just be better over time. But you're not always gonna have years where you're crushing it or days where you're crushing it. But having the ability to know that you can get back up and keep going or still force yourself, not force, but have the discipline to do the things that you need to do that are important to you every day, the chart's going to look way better. Like by the time I'm standing up here recording three years from now and it's like 2027, I guarantee that this is like way up there and I look different and I probably have some other stuff going on that's pretty cool that I'll be talking about then. And I'll be looking back at this video being like, damn. I remember when it was day 11 and I was fucking recording stuff. That's pretty funny. But I don't know. I think, uh, I think that's it. Fatality. Mortal Kombat joke. Yeah. I think I'm out. I think we're good.